So around the first week of February, a whole bunch of news was hitting the market. The rumor was that Nvidia was launching their new GPUs. First at around February 9th, it was Ampere, the GA104 GPU powering the GeForce 2080 and the 2070, launching in April or being revealed to us next month and then coming out in April. Mass production had already began. There was also the rumor that Nvidia completely stopped making Pascal cards like the 1080 and the 1080 Ti or something. I don't know how true it is as rumors are rumors. And I will say most of the time tech rumors, eight out of 10 times they're right. Like whatever they say is happening comes to fruition. Not all the time, but often. So it led me to be confused as to what exactly is going on and everyone else. It's all up in the air because most people speculate and look at what's going on now. Nvidia is making a killing with the 10 series graphics cards. They can't even keep them in stock. Supply cannot meet demand. That's why the prices are absorbent simply because of the whole mining craze. And on one hand, you can blame the miners, but on the other hand, you have to blame the companies willing to price gouge to make a profit and the average Joe creating an Amazon account to basically buy up these graphics cards and then resell them for a tidy profit. There are a lot of fingers to point. And frankly, with AMD not exactly putting any level of pressure on NVIDIA, what incentive do they have to actually put out a new graphics card? This news dropped that the Ampere microarchitecture will succeed Pascal with the GA104 GPU to launch it around April 12th, since the GP102 production has been halted. If true, this would have an interesting implication on the market dynamics. The GP102 powers the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 graphics cards, the flagship product. And if the core has indeed entered ELO, then it is unlikely stock is going to last for long, even given the current market demand. In fact, the entire possibility that the GeForce 1080 will go permanently out of stock in a few months, assuming that there's any truth to the report. Anyway, speculation is you'd see 10, to 15% of a jump over a 1080 Ti if this actually happens. Then later on, there was the new generation graphics card codenamed Turning GPU launching next month according to Reuters. This came days after the Ampere leaks surfaced. Now Nvidia is launching the Turning GPU next month. It, I should might as well call this silly season. In the motorcycle racing, when there's a whole bunch of rumors and stuff coming out in quick succession, they call it silly season. Well, according to Reuters, this brand new NVIDIA turning GPU is going to launch sometime next month. This means that either NVIDIA is undergoing a massive rebranding campaign or that Volta will not be making it to consumer sides anytime soon. Well, according to WCCF Tech, there are two possibilities that they see. NVIDIA has decided to ditch the Ampere code name because it's very similar to another company, ARM, the server maker, or it's decided to fork the upcoming architecture into two distinct flavors. This is the rumor that has been circling around as well, that Ampere and Turning will be two different NVIDIA cards. One will be geared towards miners, the other will be geared towards gamers. Supposedly, there's a lot of rumors going on, and it's hard to tell what's exactly true. Wasn't this named after some guy like Alan Turning or something like that? Apparently, Turning was subject to chemical castration in 1952 because he was a homosexual. It was either that or going to prison. Classic 1950s. He died of cyanide poisoning and it is also unclear whether it was self-inflicted or murder. Now literally yesterday actually, after all of the speculation of the supposed Nvidia graphics cards that were coming out, OC3D then puts out an article saying that it looks like Nvidia won't be launching new GPUs at GTC or GDC. Over the past couple of weeks, there have been numerous reports that NVIDIA has plans to launch new GPUs in the coming months, with many speculating that the company will be revealing new products at either GDC, Game Developer Conference, or GTC, GPU Technology Conference. Now a report from PC Games In has thrown a spanner into the works, stating that they have been in contact with NVIDIA and that the company has confirmed that they will not be launching any new GPUs at either event next month, shattering hopes that there will soon be a new consumer GPU at launch. Well, that's the weird thing about this. That's the rub between you and me. Oddly enough, part of me thinks, well, it makes sense. Nvidia can't even keep up with the supply and demand right now. And the second those cards hit the market, they're gonna sell out real quick. Why would Nvidia even bother? 
Also, there were rumors on another site, but I can't find it right now, that NVIDIA had no plans to release any new graphics cards until the mining sort of died down. In all honesty, it makes sense from a business standpoint not even to bother to put out anything because AMD isn't putting any pressure on them, like I said earlier. But the other side of me, you know, the skeptic in me, knows that whenever a company says something isn't happening, they're probably lying. We've been there before. Nvidia swore up and down the 1070 Ti wasn't a thing and it wasn't coming out. And I remember a lot of people telling me I was an idiot believing it was coming out. Lo and behold, 1070 Ti exists. I remember I was one of the few guys that believed that Intel was working with AMD to create an APU. A lot of people thought I was an asshole, an idiot. I used to get comments on my videos about how dumb I was, was to believe that AMD and Intel would work together. Lo and behold, it's a thing and it exists. Nobody ever sent me a sorry message, but whatever. I take this as a grain of salt, just like I take the fact that there might be a new card coming out with a grain of salt. There's a possibility to come out and there's a possibility that Nvidia is bullshitting that it's not coming out. I'd say we're at a 50-50 chance in my personal opinion. Whenever something is denied in the tech world, usually it means it's true. In other tech news, Ryzen 5's 2400G. WCCF Tech put up a YouTube video showing off the Ryzen 5 2400G running Doom. And actually, this shit's pretty fucking legit. This Ryzen CPU with Vega graphics on it really, really impresses me. Just from looking at the game running, like watching Doom running on it real time with some decent settings. Is this a 1080p? Shows amazing potential. It really does. Like this thing is rocking like 50 frames up to 56 depending on what settings you run. And frankly, it looks really good. Graphics on high setting for real? I really like what this Ryzen 5 2400G is doing. I really do. I think this is gonna be the go-to CPU for like League of Legends, maybe Dota. I'm, I would not be surprised there'd be a, a fuck ton of people who migrate to this just to play Overwatch or something on the cheap, you know? Like a whole bunch of people who play Overwatch on a laptop or pre-built desktop and they're getting like 30 frames on low. They could dump jump to this and have a huge upgrade for, I don't know, what is it, like 168 bucks for the CPU? On top of that, the CPU also works inside of like current Ryzen motherboards. Yeah, so you could just BIOS flash it and boom your, like, wow, dude, it's, it's pretty sweet. Like, that is impressive. AMD is doing stuff that seems pro-consumer. Though I do believe no company really gives a shit about consumers, but when it comes to sticking it to each other, they'll do that just to benefit the customer if it sticks a nail in the Intel coffin. Oddly enough, you know what I mean. I could see future consoles like the PlayStation 5 or Xbox 2, whatever the fuck they're going to call it, using something very similar to this. They could, this could be like the beginning of affordable onboard graphics that aren't complete and total garbage and maybe possibly a game changer for consoles at least making them more viable in the future i don't know just speculations and thoughts on my part i have a feeling in the near future steam surveys are going to show a lot more people running the amd ryzen 5 2400g than the onboard graphics found in any of the intel products in other AMD news, it seems that uh, AMD's next-gen Roam Epic CPU on 7 nanometer could feature 64 cores and 120 threads. Pretty impressive stuff. Now, you might sit there and go, well, who gives a rat's ass? It's, you know, it's the Epic server CPU. The thing is, if this shows up on the Epic server CPU, there's a good shot. We could see it on the next Threadripper, like Threadripper 2 or whatever they're gonna call it. The rumor is that Rome is coming from China with WCCF Tech picking up on it. The next generation Rome CPU is packing a huge 64 cores, 128 threads of performance in the SKU. AMD is reported to have two different Epic dies to choose from. Die one is a single CCX six core. In the CCX you'll find in the 2400G CPUs I was just talking about from Ryzen. Uh, it'll have a six core and each die is 12 cores with a single CPU maximum of 48 cores. The die two will be a CCX eight core with 16 cores 
single CPU maximum of 40 of 64 cores. My fucking brain. The picture is reportedly the Zeppelin die with 12 cores per die and four dies totaling 48 cores. The rumor is that AMD will have a second offering with 16 cores per Zeppelin die, bringing the total CPU cores to a huge 64 cores. If AMD actually pulls this off, Intel is once again fucked and they'll probably have to pull a rabbit out of their ass again like they did last time with the, uh, what was it? What do they call those extreme i9s or some bullshit? I can't even remember. At this point, I may as well get the hell out of here because I've pontificated enough. I've wasted enough time. Lord knows the video is longer than I ever intended to be. But we're going to just talk about some of the stuff because I was interested in it. Well, back to me getting the hell out of here. Adios, bichachos. Oh, by the way, remember to smash that like button. Do it. You know, the more you that like and follow me, man, the louder my voice gets, the more respect I get. And I want that respect. I want it. You know why? Because chicks don't respect me. But they will when they find out I have 30 some K subs. So don't forget to hit me up on Twitch, Twitter, the whole nine yards. I now have a Discord if you want to come in there and talk to me on occasion. You know, that's a thing. It happens now. You know, get yourself ready for it. I give words of wisdom. I guide the children. I'm a philanthropist. I'm a humanitarian. I'm doing what friendly AI refused to do. Keep banging that damn drum. Prostitution, folks. Male prostitution. Oh, yeah? Men suck for money, too? I've seen it. No, I haven't seen it. Nope. Take it back. Delete that. I haven't seen shit. Okay? I stay here. I'm a good boy.